Pisces. Happy birthday if it's your birthday and welcome to your reading with me, Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. Okay, Pisces, so tuning into your energies, I'm first of all, I'm filming this on the Piscean new moon with Mercury retrograding conjunct this new moon in Pisces, sun with that new moon in Pisces, of course and it's it's a it's a little pisces love party and i'm getting a lot of the nostalgia and i'm getting feedback that word feedback is coming in too i got kinship 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 like family blood relative familiarity nostalgia romance idealizations coming up for you so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got for you coming up ahead, Pisces. What can we expect for our little fishies? First card out's the strongest, remember. It's like the birth card of the reading, my dear. We have the Four of Cups, and I'm kind of drawn to the wrist. I don't know why, but the wrist here is kind of what immediately drew me when I first saw this card. The wrist of, like, holding up, it's, it's weird. Anyway. So with the Four of Cups, here we have an energy of rejection. We do have a sort of, now I am getting a different perspective. People, you could be in an argument with someone, find yourself in an argument with someone, or even at an impasse. Someone is or has in the past or recent past passed on something. Maybe even you, Pisces, where is this going? Eight of Pentacles at the bottom. It could have to do with work, could have happened at the workplace. Um, with people you feel kinship with, you know, buddies that you work with that you feel like, oh, these are my guys, these are my girls, these are my people. King of Pentacles. Yes, with the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. Coming out afterwards. Absolutely kinship. What did I say? Kinship. This is a friendly, this is someone who is beneficial to you. This is an energy of someone that's very powerful, very stabilized. This is someone who's already very well established in the concrete world. They have not only, not even like accounts and houses and businesses, but like they have like a name. They have established a name for themselves. Sorry. They're, they've established a name for themselves, something that they're like, gone on you know they have a very very positive long-standing reputation either in their industry or in the family or in your network in this community whatever this is a church for some of you i just want to get like the players of the thing happening right now wow we have the ten of pentacles that's another ooh the Ten of Pentacles with the Five of Staves and the Ace of Swords. So here's that other familial energy that's very patriarchal with the pen, Ten of Pentacles. Sorry, yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. It's very fatherly, daddy, father, you know, authority and like the person that takes care of you, the person that takes care of things, the person that takes care of all of the boring things that end up creating the structure that we all live our lives in. Okay, so if if this head of the household masculine energy is the one paying all of the bills and they're the ones that tell the landscapers to only come during certain hours on certain days to allow their partner, you, the peace and quiet that they need to write the next great American novel, to compose the next beautiful symphony as a gift to the world, to heal, to have realizations, to work, to study, to pass tests, whatever it is. Whatever it is, this person's the one that does that. This person is the one that makes sure everything adds up, that everything's organized and taken care of, that no matter what, you're living your life doing what you want. They love you. They care so deeply for you. Very nostalgic with that Six of Cups. It's a karmic relationship. You could be related to this person or you have just had past lives together and you can feel that 
you know, maybe it's a new person, you don't know them from Adam, but you meet them and you feel immediately connected. It's a karmic past life association. And with that Two of Cups, a union between you two, a collaboration between you two is a very natural thing. Very, very natural for you and this person to sort of feel a natural kittenship, but also just a natural partnership with each other. Okay, Pisces. And then with this energy down here, what I'm getting from this is family conflict, yes. But kind of like over here, what I'm getting is a difference in perspective, which is what I get super. I would check out the daily for February 24th, Pisces, because um, this could apply to you. That daily reading could apply to you as well. That five of staves, which did come up in that daily, that is, is fighting and conflict because of a difference of opinion, because someone can't see your side, you can't see their side, you guys just can't see where the other side is coming from, both of you, or everyone in the situation, because there could be more than two people involved. But despite all of that, there's there, so there is going to be a little bit of bickering, you know, someone feels rejected and feels left out, that could be you. But I feel like you're the one who has this really, really great relationship here with this person. So I feel like it's kind of not you. But I feel like someone is like in a moody sort of... Let's zoom in on that. Why that person's so moody. I'm just getting the moodiness. Like even if it's good, even if they have great options, they're still like... You know. it's going on in this kinship situation with my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Risings, Venus, Mars, or otherwise. Twelfth house stelliums. All right, four of cups. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? The lovers. And beneath that, the six of freaking cups. I'm not taking the last three cards, but just so you can see the Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Staves. I'm not taking those, though. I'm not taking them. No, I'm not. I'm just taking these two. I'm taking the Six of Cups because it's already here. That Six of Cups is already on the, on the table. And then the Five of Swords feels like that Five of Staves kind of competitive energy here. So people in the family or people in the group, people at work if this is a work situation for you Pisces people are just sensitive I'm just getting a lot of sensitivity now what this is the four of cups being clarified I feel like it has to do with this king of pentacles it has to do with this king of pentacles because number one we thread these energies through so it's like they're they're feeling sort of rejected by the king of pentacles and the king of pentacles has a great it's almost like now you could this could be you you could be the one being rejected by the king of pentacles that could be it as well but i am getting that someone is sort of feeling a little bit betrayed with the lovers it's a choice in love it's almost like oh i'm you know i I'm their kid, I'm their, I'm their offspring, I'm their favorite child, I'm their whatever, you know, why aren't they choosing me? You know, it could even be that this person is saying no, is rejecting the King of Pentacles. I'm not sure, if, you know, in all of your different situations, it'll be different. This energy will be channeled differently in every situation. But the energy of rejection is totally there. And there is this sort of element of, you know, well, we're close, we're family, we're blood, we're best friends, or, you know, I, I brought you into this industry, I brought you up, I mentored you. Um, so there's, there's definitely, there's definitely more going on here. And you know what, what we're going to do in the extended is, is we're going to take a look at the King of Pentacles, and we're going to see what's going on with him, because that could even be a boss it could be someone to um, 
disperse funds, disperse, you know, money and funding that has sort of like a favorite or, you know, just pet projects or people that they kind of do favor over others that get sort of different attention from them. And there is a conflict up ahead. In the extended, we will take a look at this conflict, Pisces, um, for this, for you, because I do see someone standing up for the truth. I do see the truth coming to light. And it does appear to be the truth, the honesty, the integrity that prevails above all else. So I'm going to take a deeper look at each of these energies separately, the Ace of Swords, the Five of Staves, and the Ten of Pentacles to see how this sort of shakes out for that long-term solution. And what, because there's things being shuffled around right now with positions, either in family dynamics, work dynamics, or otherwise. So that's what we will be exploring in detail in the extended. So Pisces, if this is resonating with you, I will, you know, hopefully see you on the other side. If not, my dears, I will see you in your next reading. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can jump into the queue on the artigan.com slash shop. And um, that's about it, Pisces. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Feeling so close to you and having so many fears. So many fears. So many fears. They're like overthinking this now. You're going to see your own visions. You're going to have your own impulses. You're going to have your own feelings. Have one person who does need to walk away but can't. We have someone here that's not following their heart. Part of why they're so fearful is because of this other conflict even. Let's clarify the sort of truth over here.